Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today I'm going to do some exterior demolition on the Micro Barn Dominium. It is a sloppy mess out here. Today and tomorrow are the only fair days for working on the exterior of this and there's really nothing left to do on the interior until I take off this top skin. What I'm going to try to do today is get all this exterior stuff off but mostly I need to get these soffit panels out of there. I want to try to get them out of there intact and cut them down a little bit and reuse them but i don't know if i'll be able to do that or not they may get destroyed either way those got to come out of there because they are covering the siding once i get these out i'll be able to tap the siding out i do not want to destroy the siding i want to get it out intact and use this as a template to cut the new stuff so these are first, then all this other stuff. It's got a couple nails, hanging stuff. Get that box off. Hose reel. This needs to come down as well. This used to go into our rain barrel. We had a rain barrel right here when it was over there. And there was a spigot on the bottom of the rain barrel and then we watered our garden with that when we used to just come up here on weekends and stuff. I got that out when I was doing the interior stuff. I guess that can stay for a little while. This is going to be a ways down the road. Once I open up this back area, we're going to put drywall up through the hole and get it drywalled up there. That should be pretty interesting. There's no way to get it up there any other way. The ladder opening is way too small. This is where we had our shower. We had an outdoor shower right up against the building right here. And we used that for, I think, six or seven years. It was awesome. I really want to have an outdoor shower again. There's a video on me taking that out. I'll put a link to that in the description below if you want to see it. Yeah, that was really awesome. Yeah, this stuff will be easy. This, I'm not sure if this was from the Ferguson or the farm all there, but I'll be saving that. Yeah, I don't know how much I'll be able to film with sound because of the wind, but I guess that's not going to matter. This has to come down. The bird's nest has to come down before they start using it. And we have nests all over the place. I got what I could from the top, but they're still all over the place. We're gonna seal this all up in a future video. This right here, just a license plate bend it over to make a nest. And you could see that the wasps used it. I'll have to take that down. Yeah, I'll have to get all these nests out of here as soon as possible. And I'm going to be sealing up that opening. This goes right up into the attic up there. And i got to get that closed off. All right. So, to start with, I'm going to go get my driver and open the door. This door will just fall out if this board isn't on here. So we'll take that off so I have a dry place to put stuff. It is a mess out here. And I could probably work on these with step ladders. Yeah, I'll start by bringing the eight foot step ladder. I don't know, we'll see. We'll get something. Hopefully these panels come off easy. Let me see, I don't know if we have them on the back or not. Yeah, they're on the back as well. These are not as important as the ones on the front because that front is coming off real soon. We have 
a door. The door is going to go right in the center here. This is all going to be reframed. We have the door on order for down here and a window on order for up there. So I'm going to get that piece of OSB off there, get the skin off, frame that up, and get that window in first thing. Then we'll move down to the stuff down here. All right, let me go get a ladder and get this open. It's getting really windy. We'll see if we can film from, well, I don't know how we're gonna film. Well, we'll have to film in time lapse because it's gonna get a little too windy. Oh, this is pretty nasty. I got the ladder set up in a puddle. All right. This is what I'm doing so far. Just putting as stiff of a spatula as I have behind here. That worked pretty good. These next ones aren't going to be as easy. Ooh, got some nasty stuff in there. I was afraid of that. I thought it was going to come off and I was going to fall backwards. I did, but I caught myself. Full of bugs. Okay. Oh, great. These are right on top of the siding. I'm gonna have to cut the siding right here. That's a lot more work. Yeah, this thing wasn't built to be taken apart. It's on top of the siding on the side as well. Ah, mud dauber nest. Well, this job got a bit more difficult. I should be able to take my oscillating saw, just run a straight edge nice and tight up against these uh, flying rafters, and then take that oscillating saw and just saw that off. I do need this as a template, so I'm gonna have to get it out of their hole. Yikes. Okay, let's see about this one. I gotta go and put this down there. Otherwise, if I drop it, it'll go right into mud. And I need to keep track where these go as well, I think. Well, maybe not. Soupy mess.
we go. This is kind of dangerous. That one broke. I don't think I'm going to be able to save these. This is some pretty cheap stuff. This is just quarter inch beadboard, so we'll have to put in new stuff. got this off of there intact trying to save money wherever possible but it's not possible here This is the hard one. You yank on it. Oops. Oh, oh, everything fell in the mud. Ah. I thought I was going to have to yank on it and possibly fall backwards, but that wasn't the case. All right, I'm going to have to get a towel out here to wipe off my tools. Framing nail stuck in sideways. That's odd. All right. This one shouldn't be too gosh awful hard. Let me go get my tools out of the mud. Oh. And I got to take this off. I was wondering if these screws were completely gone, but they're not. Hopefully, if I'm careful, I can back those screws out. This is just covering the opening. We never put the door in here. And now I'm going to be reframing that. And there's going to be a, a real nice little window right in here. All right, let me get my tools. Okay. A ah. little bit dangerous, but as they say, safety third.
I need to put something under that other corner. I'd hoped that would come all the way out, but no. All right, I moved safety up to second and went and got the 12 foot ladder. See if we can get those center ones out. Oh, that's a lot better. Quite windy. Holy moly. I got all of those off and I went and pulled all the staples out and drew a line along the edge. But what I'm going to do is cut that with the oscillating saw from the inside. You can see if I run the oscillating tool right along here, I can get a real nice cut for most of the area. And then when I get to stuff like this, I can cut it from the outside. Yeah, these are basically the same. I just have the framing there. All right. Yeah, that's a lot more work than I wanted to do, but you got to do what you got to do. I'm pretty much at a standstill for the day. I have a bunch of other stuff that I got to get done and I'm having a lot of problems with this mud. My ladder is sinking into it, and when I step down from the ladder, I'm just sinking way the heck into the mud, and it's gonna be that way all the way around the building, so I'm just making a mess here. I think what I'm gonna do is just put the door back on. The next four days, we're gonna be having snow, and the wind is going to be coming directly into the face of the barn. The prevailing winds go that way, the opposite way. But a lot of these winter storms are like that. They're circular. And you get that wind coming out of the east like that. 
All right, so like I said, we're gonna have four days of snow coming up and then it's gonna be melting for a good week after that. I don't know when it's gonna be dry enough to work on this again. It could be two weeks, but I really don't wanna work on it in this soupy mess like this. So whenever it dries out out there again, we'll be back on this. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be at least a week probably two weeks but until then there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done in the wood shop so if you want to see any of that make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon if you have any questions or comments make sure you put them in the comment section below and if you share the video and or give it a like it helps the channel out greatly thanks for watching and have a great day